Hi everyone, Namaste, welcome to your core flow class, the second class. Alright, so for today's class, we are going to work on a flow with a little bit of core work. So today's focus will be more on building stronger planks. So we'll be holding quite a few plank poses today. Okay, so remember you can always listen to your body and take a break when you need to. Alright, and try to have fun. Okay, so we will start in hero pose today. Sitting onto the knees and the heels, all right, knees together to touch. If you need to, you can elevate the sitting bones using a block. Have your palms resting onto your thighs. Now start to lengthen the spine and lift the chest. Roll the shoulders up and back and close your eyes. And begin to turn your attention inwards. Connect yourself with your deep breathing. And as you hear, soften your facial muscles. Relax the space between your eyebrows. And just start to notice how your body feels today. And just take the next few moments here to just clear your mind, relax and settle down onto your mat. And start to activate your deep ujjayi breathing. Create a slight constriction at the back of your throat. And start to produce a soft hissing sound as you inhale and you exhale. Stay with this deep ujjayi breathing for the next couple of breaths. We're going to move on to your Kapalabhati breathing, cleansing breath. So it's an active exhalation through the nose, passive inhalation. If you're not sure, you can open the eyes for a while so that I can demo. So if you need to, you can put one hand onto the belly. So you want to create this pumping effect with the belly using the core strength. So it will look like this. So exhaling through the nose, but keep your shoulders relaxed, so not tensing the shoulders and just Exhale out right, with a passive inhale. Alright? So close your eyes again. If you are expecting, just take normal deep breathing. Otherwise, long inhale through the nose. Long exhale. Moon cycle, you can skip this as well. Inhale halfway. First round, 20 pounds and begin. Exhale all the air out. Long inhale. Long exhale. Second round, 50 pumps. Inhale halfway and begin. Long deep inhale, long exhale. One more time, long inhale, long exhale. And start to resume your normal deep breathing. Always stay connected to your breath, allowing the breath to guide you through your practice. And slowly blink over the eyes. Very nice. Alright. Let's come onto our hands and knees, tabletop. If you need to, you can tuck your toes under just to stretch out the ankles here. Good. Alright, have your palms below the shoulders, knees underneath your hips. We're going to do a little bit of activation for your forearms because we are going to work quite a bit on the upper body today. So have your fingers pressing down. You're just going to lift your heels of your palms off the mat. Good. Inhale. Exhale, lower the palms completely down. Inhale, lift the heels off, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Just another three more, inhale up, exhale, up and down. Last one up, hold for five, four, three, two and slowly lower all the way down. Turn your thumbs out, 
the forearms facing towards the front of the mat. Let's start to do front and back movements and draw circles clockwise and anti-clockwise. Take your time just to warm up the wrists, preparing our body for all the planks that we'll be doing later on. Return back to center. This time turn your fingers inwards so your own forearms are facing towards you and just gently lean back. Very nice. Slowly come back to your palms in neutral position. We're going to come down to our elbow. So lower the left forearm down, right elbow down. Come into your forearm tabletop. Press firmly into your palms and your elbows and draw the belly in, round the upper back. Creating that roundness in the upper back, draw the belly in even more. Now maintaining this, start to extend your legs back one at a time, coming into your forearm plank position. Bum shouldn't be too high or too low, so maintain your body in a straight line. Good. Pressing into the elbows. Right now, draw the belly in more. Keep that roundness in the upper back. Activate the thighs, lift the kneecaps. We're going to hold this forearm plank position for one full minute. So stay strong, alright? It's a good pose to strengthen your core and also the upper body and the shoulders. Good, keep breathing here, long full deep breaths. Good, press into the elbows, press in your palms, don't let the hips sink. If you feel that your hips are sinking, really activate the core even more by drawing the belly in. Legs still active here, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the inner thighs, lift the kneecaps, activate those thighs here, so whole body is working here. Long deep breaths, we're halfway through, so stay with me. Good, don't lose engagement in the shoulders, don't let the hips sink too low. Good, whole body is firing up here, we're almost there. Last few seconds here, stay with it. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, draw the belly in even more. Last five, four, three, two, and slowly release the knees down. Very nice. Right, come back up to your palms. Good. Keep your toes side under, push back to your downward facing up. And shake it up here, take any movements that you need. Just loosen up your body. Push away from the mat. Keep your fingers nice and spread. Just one more deep breath here. Whatever movements that you need to take, take it here. Very nice. And slowly shift the weight all the way forward, come into your high plank pose. So earlier on you were in forearm plank, now you're in your high plank. Here a little bit of activation for your obliques. So bring your right leg off the mat, so three-legged plank. Good. Take a deep breath in here. And exhale, crunching your right knee to the right elbow to touch. Now bring that right knee over to the left elbow. In your right elbow. Excellent. In your right. Excellent. Three more. In your right. Excellent. So now stay with me. Right and left. Last one. Right and left. Good. Right and hold. Three, two, and one. Right foot back. High plank. Inhale lift. Left leg off the mat. Three leg of plank. Inhale. Left knee. Left elbow touch. Inhale to the right elbow. Excellent. In your right, excellent. Keep going. In your right, excellent. We are always going here. In your right, excellent. Last one. Right and left and hold for three, two. Left foot back. High plank pose. Hold it high plank. Shift the weight forward more. Stack the shoulders over your wrist. Last five. Four. Stop the belly in. Hollow the belly. Three, two. Lower the knees down. Good job. Shift the shoulders forward. Bend the elbows, lower your chest between your palms, coming to your knees, chest and chin. Inhale, gliding up, just a bit cool, right? Keep your elbows bent, press the tops of the feet down, press the palms down, open up the chest, tuck your toes under, push back, downward facing down. One deep breath, long inhale, long exhale. Good. Lift your heels high as you inhale. As you exhale, step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, take a halfway lift, lengthen. Good, forward fold, exhale. Next, inhale, reach your arms all the way up towards the ceiling. Taking a gentle back bend in the chest. 
As you exhale, you're going to bend your elbows out to the side, cactus arms, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Good, two more. Inhale, reaching your arms straight up. Exhale, cactus arms. Activate your back muscles here, squeeze the glutes together, lift the chest. Last one, inhale, straight arms. Exhale, cactus arms, squeeze, 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 lift the chest. Good, last one, inhale. This time, forward foot, all the way now, exhale. Take a half minute lift, inhale. Arms down, step back, length pose. This time your choice, knees, chest, chin, or full chaturanga, exhale. In your to your upward facing dog, cobra pose. Tuck your toes under, push back, down dog, exhale. One full deep breath, long inhale, long exhale. Very nice. Feet together, as you inhale, extend the right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. As you exhale, step the right foot, in between the palms and gently lower the left knee down. Good. Keeping the right foot thoroughly below the right knee. Hug the inner thighs in towards each other. Then inhale, reach your arms up, low lunge, Anjaniya Sana. Keeping your arms extended up, sit deeper. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale, cactus arms again, activating those back muscles. Also part of the core, lift the chest. Good. Stay here with the cactus arms. Keep squeezing the shoulder blades together. Keep drawing the elbows down. Now start to lift the chest and maybe looking up. Five foot deep breaths here. Keep hugging the inner thighs in. With every exhale, you can squeeze a little bit more, but don't overarch the spine. Keep your lower body still active. One more breath here. Good. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands down. Shift your hips back, straighten up that right leg. Inhale, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, folding forward into your house fits. Use the blocks if you need to. Keep flexing that right foot towards you. If your belly is close to the thigh, now walk your hands forward. Just so allow your right hamstring to get a nice good stretch. One more back here. Good, and slowly, we bend the right knee. Plant your left palm inside of the right foot. Extend your right hand up to the step, coming into a twist. Tuck the left toes under, activate your back leg, and lift the back knee off the mat, coming into your easy twist. Good, now start to open up the right shoulder more. Maybe looking up towards the ceiling. You can choose to stay here, or walk the right foot back, halfway down the mat, or 10 toes pointing to the right side. If you're comfortable, full side plank, Vajistasana. Walk your right foot all the way back. You can either scatter your feet or stack your feet and try to lift your hips high. Really feel your entire left side of your body working here. Good. We did that. Three, four, five. Four, keep pushing your way with the left palm for me. Three, two, looking towards the front of the mat. You're gonna slowly right, bring your right foot forward as slowly as you can. Okay? So bring your right knee in towards the chest first. And as slowly as controlled as you can, step the right foot all the way forward. We'll start. Good job. So you're back in your easy twist. Take a deep breath. Inhale. As you exhale, you're going to weave the right arm underneath your left arm. So you're going to thread the needle underneath and reach all the way towards the left side. Inhale, open up. Roll the right shoulder open. Exhale, twist and weave it under. Last one. Inhale, open. Exhale, weave it through, stay here, all right? Come to the left fingertips. A lot of side body work here. Flatten the left foot down completely. Now step two, bring your right shoulder inside of the right knee. With control, use the strength of your legs and lift your left hand off the mat. Bring that left bicep by your hip. So you're in a side angle with no, side angle pose with no support here. Hold it there. Keep rolling the left shoulder open more. Hold, good. In here, come up into your warrior two. Exhale, sit deeper. If you need to adjust your stance as wide as the wrist, sit until your right thigh is parallel to the mat. Flip the right arm as you inhale, lean towards the front of the mat. Exhale to your reverse warrior. Slide the left hand down the thigh, continue to bend the right knee. Good. Nice. Inhale, warrior two. As you exhale, straighten up the right leg. Alright, if you have a block, I would like you to grab it now using both hands, okay? If you don't have a block, just stick with your 
hands about shoulder width distance apart without the block. So hold on to that block with the palms. Right, don't grip the block so hard, just lightly hold from the side. Keep your shoulders down. So that it will maintain something for you to grip for the next movement. Good. Alright, if you need to, shorten your stance slightly so you're in a triangle form with the legs here. Deep inhale. As you exhale, we're going to do some floating triangle pulses. Push your hips back, lean forward, push your hips back, lean forward more. Lock reaching towards the front of the mat. In and pull yourself up. Exhale, lean. Keep the chest nice and open. Good. Two more. Inhale up. Exhale, lean. Even more. Use your big strength here. Pull up the kneecaps. Activate the thighs. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, lean as far forward as you can. Good. Feel the side body on the left side walking. And hold for five. Four. Lean forward. Even more. Three. Two. And one. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, release the block. Very nice. Alright. Left hand to the hip, preparing for your half moon. So if you need to, create some space at the front of your mat. Round that right fingertips with your block if you need to. One step forward and to the right. Lean forward, float the left up. Roll that left shoulder, left hip open. Keep your standing legs super strong. Once you're ready, extend the left hand up to the sky. Good. You can always look down for that. Very nice. Right, maintaining this, bring the left bicep by your ears. So really feel the extension of the entire left side body here. Hold. Good. For a little more challenge, keeping that left bicep by your ear. Now float to your right hand to the heart center. Hold for five. Four. Standing legs strong. Three. Two. Right fingertips down. Left fingertips down. Square your hips. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale to your standing splits. Keep the left leg all the way up. Folding forward over the right thigh. Take any variation of your standing splits. If you feel like you want to go upside down and practice your handstand hops, feel free to explore that. Otherwise, just stay with me in this stretch. Just a few more deep breaths here. Keep kicking the left leg up as you fold forward. Last five, four, three, four, a little bit deeper, two. Good. In a halfway, wherever you are, we're going to be in plank pose. So bend the right knee as much as you need to to flatten the palms down. Step the left foot back, right foot back, high plank pose. Good. Maintain your shoulders above your wrists. Press into the palms. Draw the belly in. Okay, a little bit of strengthening for the upper body and some core activation. Bring the right knee towards the chest. Roll the weight forward to the left tippy toe. You can choose to stay here all the way. Okay, or five little chaturanga pulses with the knee to chest. Inhale, exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, straight arms. Exhale, bend. Can be just a little bit. Inhale, up. Exhale, bend. Two more. Inhale, up. Exhale, bend. Last one. Up and bend and hold. Hug the knee close to the chest. Five, four, three, two. Inhale, straight arms. Step the right foot back. High plank. You still have the left side. Okay, left knee to the chest. Roll the weight forward. Inhale, stay. Now exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, straight arms. Exhale, bend. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Two more. Stay with me. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Last one. Up and bend. And hold. Five, four. Hug the belly in. Three, two. Straight arms, left foot back. High plank pose. Hold. And fingers are true. At your own pace. At your own time. And bring me in. Downward facing down. One deep breath. Long inhale. Long exhale. Good. Very nice and right. Alright, feet together, heels high. Inhale, lift. Left leg up. Good. As you exhale, left foot in between palms. Right knee down to the mat. Keep the left toes directly, left foot directly below the left knee. Once you're ready, arms up, low lunge. Sit deeper, keep your chest lifted, deep breath, inhale. As you exhale, cactus arms, bend the elbows up, lift the chest. Good, your five breaths here. Keep hugging the inner thighs in, keep drawing your shoulders back. Every exhale, pull the elbows down. Good, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fingertips down. Shift your hips back, straighten the left leg. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale, fall forward. Take a little bit of time to catch your breath here. Into your half splits and walk your hands forward if you choose. Keep 
flexing the left foot actively towards you. Good. Very good. Slowly rebend the left knee, right palm below the right shoulder. Inhale, extend the left hand up to the sky. Once you're ready, tuck the right toes under, back knee off the mat. Roll the left shoulder open. And get ready. Left foot halfway or all the way back into Vasisthasana. Side plank. Scatter out step feet. Your choice. So mirror the same thing you did on the other side. Hold it and keep lifting your hips higher. Last five. Four. Three. Two. Slowly bring your left knee to the chest. Slow and controlled. Left foot all the way to the front. Good. And right palm inside of the left foot. Open up the left shoulder. Inhale. Exhale, left hand, weave it underneath the right, twist all the way towards the right side. Inhale to open up, roll the left shoulder open. Exhale and twist and weave it under. Last one, inhale. Exhale, twist and weave it under. Come to the right fingertips. Put more weight onto the legs now. Flatten the back foot down. Now start to use the leg strength, press the feet down. Right bicep by your ear, unsupported side angle pose, keep reaching the left hand forward. Now open up the right shoulder more, hold. And coming up, warrior two. Good. And adjust your stance if you need to, sit a little bit deeper. Flip the left palm, inhale, lean forward. Exhale to the reverse warrior. Keep bending into the left knee as you lean back. Just one more breath here. Good. Inhale back to warrior two. Exhale, straighten the left leg and then right onto your blocks, especially if you did it on the other side. You need to do it on this side. So reach your arms up, hold on to the side of the blocks this way. Inhale. Exhale to push and lean forward. Inhale. Exhale, lean. Good. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. Inhale. And exhale, push and lean even more. Last one, inhale. Exhale, lean. This time, hold. Keep reaching your hands forward. Roll that right shoulder open. Last five, four, legs active. Three, two, and one. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, let it go. All right, set up for half moon pose. Right hand to the hip. Left fingertips, set it up. To the front, lean forward. Right foot comes up. Peel the right hip, right shoulder open. Good. Once you're ready, right hand up to the sky. And activate your side body, right bicep by your ear. But don't let your chest collapse now. Open up the right shoulder. And maybe challenge yourself. Left hand to the heart center. Hold. Four, five, four. You can always look down for balance. Three, you're almost there. Two, and one. Left hand down, right hand down. Take your time to square your hips. Deep inhale. Exhale, fall forward into your standing seat. Taking the same variation as you did on the other side. Stay with a stretch or taking your hands and hearts. Breathe in home. Four, five. Four. Three. Two. Good. Inhale halfway. And we'll meet in plank. So bend the left knee, plant your palms down. Step the right foot back. Left foot back. High point pose. Good. Press into the palms. Draw the belly loop. Alright, this time we'll work with the push-ups with the knee onto the elbow. Okay, lean forward more. Right knee, right elbow. Good, so try to bring it a little higher than the elbow so it's easier for you to bend the elbows. Inhale, stay or a little chaturanga down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Two more, inhale up, exhale down. Last one, up and bend as slow as you can. Hold five, four, three, two, in your straight arms. Exhale, right foot back. One more side, guys. Left knee, left elbow. Bring it higher. Bend the elbows. Inner straighten. Exhale back. Inner straighten. Exhale. Inner up. Exhale down. Last one up. And hold. Five, four, lean forward. Three, two. Inner straight arms. Left foot back. High plank. And vinyasa. True. Long inhale. Long exhale. Alright, feet together, heels high, and you lift, right leg up to the sky into your three-legged dog. Bend the knee, open up the hip into your scorpion tail. Peel the right knee open. If you need to, just ground the left foot down for a while. Now roll that right hip open more. Deep breath, inhale. 
As you exhale, bring the right knee to the right elbow to touch. Good. This one's going to be a little tough, so just do your best and try to follow. Alright, flatten the left foot down. As you inhale, lift your left hand up to the sky. Now slowly, start to kick the right leg out towards the left side. As you exhale, flatten the left palm down and bring the right knee as high up your tricep as you can. Okay, we have four more like that. Inhale, kick it up to the side. It's like forward triangle, right? With the right leg off. Exhale, left palm down, right knee, right elbow touch. Three more. Inhale, kick it up. A little faster now. Exhale, ground it down, knee to elbow touch. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, palm down, knee to elbow touch. Last one. Inhale, kick it up and hold. Five. Four, keep your hips higher. Three. Two, left palm down. Right knee, right elbow, or as high as you can hold. Last three. Two, step the right foot outside of the right palm. Good job. Catch your breath. Long inhale. Long exhale. Alright. Bring the left palm directly below left shoulder. As you inhale, extend your right hand up to the sky. So back into your easy twist. So we're going to work with a little more movements here. Okay. So walk the right foot back. Halfway down the mat. Come to the outer edge of the left foot. You can choose to stay here. Right, we'll do the first few reps here first and then you can decide if you want to come into full side plank. Okay, lift the hips higher, right bicep by your ear. Deep inhale. Exhale, lower the hips, just hover up one inch off and reach the right hand all the way back. Inhale, lift, right bicep by your ear. Exhale, lower. Okay, you have another four more. If you want to, you can scatter your feet. So bring the right foot all the way back. Lift your hips higher. Exhale, lower. In up, exhale down. Keep going. In up, exhale down. Really strength in your obliques. Last one. Up and hold it there. Stay here. Or any variation of side plank. You can extend the right hand up. You want to lift the right leg off the mat. Alright, if you want to use peace fingers, wrap right onto the big toe and kick it up. Your choice. Wherever you are, breathe and hold. That's fine. Four, keep pushing away with the mat from the mat with the left palm tree. Two, right palm down, right foot down, high plank pose, and come down to the elbows for arm plank. You give your wrist a break first. Good, press into the elbows, draw the belly. Good, keep your body in a straight line here. Now start to lift your hips up like as if you want to do a down dog, push your hips up. Exhale, down, back to for arm plank. Inhale, push it up. Exhale, down. Just two more, inhale up. Exhale down. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale down. And hold your forearm plank. Last five. Four. Draw the belly in. Three. Two. Left palm. Replace left elbow. Push back up to a high plank. And take your vinyasa of choice. We will meet back in. Down dog. So just take your time. And move with that breath. Long inhale. Long exhale. Long inhale, long exhale. Good. Feet together, heels high. Inhale, lift, left leg up. Bend the knee, open up the hip into the scorpion seal. Good. Keep peeling the left hip open. Deep inhale. Exhale, left knee, left elbow to touch. You can always stay here. Uh, right foot flat down. If you're joining me, right hand up to the sky. Kick the left leg up as far as you can. Exhale, right palm down, left knee, left elbow, tap. Inhale, kick it up. Exhale, ground it down. Two more, inhale, kick it up. Exhale, palm down, knee to elbow, touch. Last one, guys, inhale, kick it up. Hold that floating, uh, floating triangle. Fallen triangle, sorry. Hold for last three. Two, and one. Right palm down, left knee, left elbow, touch. Hold, last three. Two, Step the left foot, outside left palm, and breathe. Long inhale, long exhale. Very nice. All right, keep the right palm grounded. As you inhale, extend your left hand up to the sky. Good. Then get ready, walk the left foot halfway down or all the way back. I'm oh, sorry, halfway first for the first few reps, two reps only. Lift your hips higher, left bicep by your ear. Inhale. Exhale, lower your hips. In up, and exhale up. 
And if you choose, left foot back, inhale. Exhale, low. Inhale, up. Exhale, up. Two more. Inhale, up. Exhale, hold. Last one, up. And hold, or take your side plank of choice, left and up, or any other variation. Lifting the leg, hold his fingers, grab the big toe. Make sure you do the same thing you did on the other side. Keep lifting the hips higher. Last five, four, three, two, release. Left palm down, left foot down, plank pose. This time, right forearm down, left forearm down. Forearm plank. Keep pressing into the elbows, draw the belly in. Good. Alright, maintaining this, right arm to your opposite elbows. Left forearm grounded, open up, side plank on your left forearm. Okay, no more pulses. I'm just gonna hold here. Alright, just for 20 seconds, hold it there. Alright, keep lifting the hips higher, squeeze and lift. Push away with the left elbow. Good. So you really wanna feel the work on the left side of your body. So the more you push and lift, the more you're working hard into that left side obliques. Last five. Four, three, two, and one. Switch. Right forearm now as you inhale. Lift that left hand up to the sky. Keep pushing into the right elbow. Good. Just another 10 seconds here. Breathe. Last five. Four, hips higher. Three, two. Good job. Left forearm down. Parallel your forearms. Coming back up to a push up. Right, right palm, left palm, high plank. Inhale, exhale, vinyasa tree. Good, take your time. Down dog is where we will meet. Long inhale, long exhale. Alright, last standing sequence before we come down to the mat. If you need a quick water break, feel free to take it here. We have five deep breaths. Either water break or stay in down dog or any other comfortable position. And when you're ready, join us again in down dog. Feet together, heels high. In the lift, right leg up. As you exhale, big step, right foot between pops. We're gonna give the arms a break, okay? So we go on the lower body. Hug the inner thighs in. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Good. Shoulders relax. A little bit of a stretch for the shoulders. Reach your arms all the way back. Inhale. As you exhale, interlock your fingers. Release the shoulders together. Lift the chest. It should feel quite nice with the shoulders here. After all the planks and rounding that we did earlier. Good. Alright, keep the back legs super strong. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Good. As you exhale, lean forward halfway, resting warrior. Now hold a resting warrior position. Next inhale, stay. As you exhale, lean forward into your right foot. Lift the left foot off the mat and sweep your arms back coming into your warrior tree. Keep the left foot flex. Keep the airplane arms. Activate the back muscles, but also the belly muscles here. Good. Keep your hips square. Tilt the left hip down. Keep your standing legs strong. Hold. Squeeze that right glute. Last five. Four. Three. Two. Step the left foot next to the right foot. Sit the bum back. Sit your biceps by your ears. Chair pose. Good. Squeeze the glutes here. Right. Squeeze the inner thighs. Hug the inner thighs in. Sit deeper. Good. And slowly, bend the knees more, bum down. Five, four, three, two, and take a seat. All right. Boot pose. So place a hand behind you for a start. Lift your heart, lean back, lift the legs off the mat. All right. Maintaining this, start to extend your legs forward into your low navasana, your low boot pose. Good. Once you're ready, Slowly, and your lower back onto the mat, and reach your arms forward. Good, keep drawing the belly in. Good. Maintain this, make sure there's no gap between your lower back and the mat. Reach your arms all the way back. Biceps by your ears, and hold your lower position. Last 10. Nice, suck the belly in. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Keep breath, inhale. Exhale, pull yourself back up into your high boat. As you exhale, plant your feet down. If you need to, use your hands. Come up to your chair pose. Good. Sit deeper. 
Lift your heels up a bit. Good. Hold a little bit of the lower body here. Hold it there. Last five. Four. Three. Two. Heels down. Hands down. Bakasana. Crow pose. Alright. Open up your knees to the sides. Bring your knees up high. Up the triceps. Using that strength in the upper body and your core. Lean forward. Draw the belly in. Pick up the feet off the mat whenever you're ready. Into your Bakasana. Breathe in home. Keep drawing the heels close towards the bum. Last five. Four, three, two. Step or hop back and take your vinyasa. One deep breath. Long inhale. Long exhale. Just one last second. Feet together. Heels high. In a lift. Left leg up. Good. Left foot between palms, exhale. So we're starting to slow down the breath by adding in a bit of balancing. In and reach arms up, high lunge. Exhale, sit deep. In here, reach your arms back. Interlock fingers, stretch out the shoulders, lift the chest. Good, just take a little bit of time here to stretch out the shoulders. Good. Next inhale, reaching your arms up. Exhale, resting warrior. Feel the front thigh working here. Keep ready here. Exhale, lean forward into your warrior three. Transfer the weight to the left foot. Sweep your arms back. Airplane arms. Keep your right foot flexed. Keep your gazing point forward. And keep the left leg strong. Hold. Four, five. Four, keep the right hip down slightly. Three, two, both feet together. Sit the bum now. Chair pose. Look at that slip. Good. Draw the belly in. Sit deeper. Good. Bend the knees small. Sit the bum down. Five, four, three, two, and take a seat. Go straight into your boat pose. Lean back. Lift the chest. Legs up. Good. Next inhale. Low boat pose. Good. Sweat is flying everywhere. Okay. Reach your arms back. Biceps by your ears. Draw the belly in. Hold. 10, 9, suck the belly in, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, stay with me, 3, 2, inhale, exhale, pull up, high boat, inhale, exhale, feet down, come up, chair pose, sweep the biceps by your ears, stay here, our last crow pose, good, so putting all that core and arm strength into your crow, and take your bakasana. If there's any other variations that you want to take from here, a flying crow or go upside down into tripod, go for it. Otherwise, just stay with the crow or practicing your crow. Last five, four, three, two, step or hop back, and vinyasa. You're almost there, okay? Breathe. Long inhale, long exhale. Very nice. Next inhale, between the palms. This time, we're going to step or hop to seated position. Alright, take a little quick breather, wipe down the sweat before we lie back down for the last few core exercises. Okay? Alright. Okay, have your blocks nearby because we will use it for the cool down later on. Alright. We're gonna we're gonna do a total of five different core exercises once we line it up, okay? So I'll get you through, don't worry. Okay, once you're ready, lie on to your neck. But keep your knees bent. Good. Feet about hip width distance apart. Alright. Okay, from this position here, you're going to interlace your fingers or just have your hands close together behind the back of your hip, just like that. Good. Keep the chest nice and open. Alright. So first movement, just your basic crunches. Okay, so keep your feet down, draw the belly in. Take a deep breath. Inhale. As you exhale, curl your upper body off the mat and crunch it. Good. Inhale down. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Halfway. Another five more down. Up for six, down, up seven, down, up eight, down, up nine, down, up for ten. 
Put down from here. Lift your feet off the mat. Good. So keep your thighs. So your knees stack over your hips. So keeping your shins parallel to the mat. Inhale, head down. Exit, crunch. Inhale, exit. Inhale, exit. Just two more. Down and up. Down and up. Adding in some leg movement now. So as you inhale, as you lower the head down, slowly start to tap the feet down lightly towards the front of the mat. Exhale, bring it back up. So not bringing the knee to the chest, just bringing it so that it's stacked above your hips. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Curl the body up. Good. Inhale, exhale. Just two more. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Okay, and in, even more now, you can stay here or you can go for straight legs. So extend the legs up. Alright, you can repeat whatever we just did or follow me with the straight legs. Inhale. Good, exhale, crunch your body up. Now start to lower your legs down about 45 degrees. Inhale, exhale, pull it back up. Good, inhale, exhale. So the lower you go, the harder it will be. All right, so you're going to challenge yourself. Make sure the lower back is still on the mat. Down a little bit lower. Exhale, crunch. Good, just two more. Inhale, exhale. Last one, down and up. Good, now we're going to add in arm movements, okay? So if you need to keep your hands behind the head or you're going to reach your arms back as you reach your legs down, inhale, exhale, point your fingers up. Good. Inhale, diagonal with the arms and legs, exhale, crunch. I know I start to feel the burn here, stay with me, inhale, exhale, just two more, stay with it, inhale, exhale, good. Last one for this one, inhale, exhale, next. Alright, last two exercises guys, inhale, this time stay here, only the left leg coming up, exit, inhale, exit, three more on the left, inhale, exit, good, last two, inhale, exit, last one down, and up, good, we're going to switch, down, up, right, don't give up now, down, up, down, and up, remember to breathe, inhale, exit, good, down, and up. Last one, hold that position. Good, legs can be 45 degrees, keep sucking the belly in, fingers reaching forward. Good, you can go lower, lower the legs as low as you can. Last 10. Nice, down the belly in. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and hug your knees to the chest. Good job. Alright, rock side to side, side to side. It is time to rest. Okay. Hug your right knee in, extend the left leg down. Good, deep inhale. Exhale, bring your right knee over to the left. Right arm over to the right. And take your supine twist. Should feel quite nice for the back. Good, change. Right leg down, left knee in. Inhale, knee over to the right, twist, look over your left shoulder. Good, come back to centre. Alright, if you want to, you can use your blocks or if you right, want to take a more active bridge, that's okay. So lift your feet up, keeping your feet about hip width distance apart, fingers should be able to touch the back of your heels. Now slide the blocks under, just above the bum, a nice flat area in your sacrum. Come into your supported bridge. You can stay or extend your legs forward. You can even extend your arms back. Just feel the stretch from the entire front body. Because we did quite a lot of uh, crunching, knee to nose, knee to elbow action today. So just try to stretch the other way. Close your eyes. Slowly rebend the knees, remove the blocks. If there's any other final pose, feel free to take it here, okay? Otherwise, just hug your knees in, keep this on a nice tight squeeze, walk it towards your knees. Last five, four, three, two, and slowly let everything go and come into your final shavasana. 
So I'm spinning out, palms facing up, fingers curl, soften your facial muscles, and just relax. Stay in Shivasana as long as you need. Otherwise, just bring your feet together and stretch your arms overhead. Get a nice good stretch. Good. Slowly hug your knees in. Gently roll to any comfortable side and push yourself back up to a comfortable seated position. Sitting up nice and tall. Shoulders stay relaxed. And if you're comfortable, join your hands to the heart and just thank yourself for taking this time to be on your mat today for your yoga practice. And I thank you all for sharing your energy with me. Very slowly, blink open eyes. Namaste everyone, thank you, good job.